What's up, Genshiners? <laughs> I'm funny. This is so stupid. So I did the first act of this, and that was good and fine. And then I thought, like, you know what I should do for the second part, even though I didn't do it for the first one, is film this. Um, So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to film, I don't know, I'm going to play this thing, and then I'm going to give you my thoughts uh, as these videos go, and I hope that you enjoy it. I am back. I said there's rice on my chair. I did have an onigiri earlier, but come on, man. I'm not that kind of person that has rice on their chair because they had onigiri like two minutes ago. I guess I am now. Oh, gross. I'm that adult. So pay attention to my resources, by the way. If by some accident you find it or notice it, um, I don't want to talk about it. I've been raising a lot of my characters. I'm out of materials. Let's get Albedo out for Albedo. Hello, twin. There's three of us now. Oh. What up? Oh, I forgot I switched to English recently. This is disorienting. Traveler, Paimon. Your faces say that perhaps you haven't turned up anything? Uh, no. I was doing the event, so... Oh, this means... Or maybe he has always operated discreetly. Oh, okay. There is one thing I found. I discovered footprints on some parts of the mountain. And although they were a little covered by the snow, I could tell they'd been left by someone of a similar size to myself. How can you tell by foot size? Quite numerous. So I believe my next step will be to rule out each of the adventurers active on Dragonspine, one by one. Well, oh, because there are only few? Wait, what? Oh. Oh. Surprise, 80s. 80s is coming. Uh, act two has begun. Let's go. All right. Where is it? Where did it go? This way? Oh, there's a path. All right. I've been to Dragon's Mine such a long time. I actually kind of hate it here. Yeah, 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 yeah. Oh damn it! And then Ningguang's not gonna be able to. Bop, 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 bop. What? What? Yo, I got scammed. Where's my chilled meat at? Yo, this... Oh, this is some bull. This is some bullshit sucrose. Alchemy me my uh, chilled meat. The fuck? Ah. Uh. Yes, Paimon. They, ha they did shake. Those are fake rocks. We have been adventuring for nearly a year now, you and I. And you just, you can't tell the fake rock. <sighs> Where's my chilled meat? Eula? That was most unfortunate. Y were you in the rocks? What are you guys doing here? What? I have to agree. We've been wandering this area for days. Days? Wait, wait. Are you saying that after all this time, you still haven't made it back to the base? <laughs> uh, well, as you can see, maybe this is the awesome power of fate. The scary kind, I mean. I mean, it has nothing to do with fate. I agree. Or does it? Actually, can we back up? I want to change my answer. Yep, we're just used to it now. Besides, it's not like <laughs> we're it's used to you to being such a piece of shit, buddy. Don't worry about it. Don't worry about it, Bunny. We're so used to you being such a piece of shit. Really? I think you guys have way better luck than I do. What? I mean, we are—we have plot what armor, Benny. I wouldn't compare you to oh, me and Pai Pai over yeah. here. You're welcome to a bit of mine too. Although, if the last few days are anything to go by, it seems in pretty short supply. At the yeah, I don't know about Amber's luck either. This is just going off of how many times you can get her from the banner. Thanks. The little yeah, you bet. Yeah, let's make it down the mountain. Come on, is that what we're gonna do? Let's go. Oh. To test it out. All right, it's tails. The opposite of what I guess. <laughs> so you can predict your fortune this way. But why are you so happy? It has two sides. So there's a 50-50 chance of me getting it correct. Is this just... Is Benny the banner? Guessing wrong when I flip an insignia is one way to use up some of the bad luck. <laughs> so the probability of having some good luck in the near future... That does not make higher. sense, dude. Yeah, that's right. Dot, dot, dot. Hey, this makes sense. 
Oh, the way they're blurred in the background. Come on, he isn't you. I'm actually polite to most people. I mean... <laughs> I guess wrong in my insignia flip. Which means we should be able to make it back to camp. Okay, Benny. Why aren't you saying anything, baby? I'll baby. Now that you mention it, I do feel a little tired. Trekking in the mountains has a way of wearing you out. Uh, yes it does. Especially if you've been doing it for days. For literal days, Amber. Well, since everyone is tired, why not take a rest in my camp? Oh, <laughs> forward all right let's go this is the same vibe as like does this, anyone want to hang out in my boat uh make yourselves comfortable was that uh, okay oh i forgot i uh don't have that many chairs um uh, please wait a moment <laughs> chairs that's so cute what's he doing painting he is. He is painting a chair. Wait, alchemy can turn paintings into objects? How is this possible? How is it even possible that, like, they're just talking about him and he's right there? Whoa! Um. <laughs> something about that is, uh, kind of creepy. Because you know how the puppets. Or just like created beings, right? And there's Fatwe. Unge Fatwe's here in Dragon Spine. That's interesting. Also, does that mean that you could just alchemize? Alchemize is not a word. For this purpose of what I'm about to say, it is. Does that mean that you can also just like alchemize visions, like the fake visions? Because how are they created in the first place? I'll have a stool sample, please. <laughs> Sorry. How many of you want backrests? Backrests. I mean, all of us. All of us look like we have back problems. Me. 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 I'll also take one with a backrest, if you please. Can Paimon have a chair that comes with a juicer? Girl. Mm. Even now, I don't believe I have fully grasped the nature of the threat, but I will endeavor to keep you safe. Thank you. That's actually really. Don't look into my eyes. <laughs> I but. You are true friends. Oh, friends. Suddenly we're friend zoned. Okay, mixed signals. Yes. Recently, certain questions have been occupying my mind. Interesting. Questions about the nature of life and creation. Uh huh. However, I feel that rushing into a discussion with you on these topics before my ideas on them are. I mean, we've got time. I've got until nighttime tomorrow. So I will wait till my thoughts are clear in my own head before I share them with you. Hmm. Until then, please forgive me. You are an interesting specimen, Mr. Albaby. Speak to Albaby. Before I do that, I just... Ugh. That potato. I cleaned that up for you, Albedo. It was a shining dust, and I cleaned it up. Hey, dinner's ready! Oh, it's boiled water! Everyone, grab a straw! Wait, wait, wait. So you're saying that it took Albedo an entire day to cook dinner? These dishes are as good as anything you'd find in the top restaurant. Are all alchemists so good at cooking? You know what? This is a good strategy, to be honest. If you keep them that hungry for as long as you did, anything will taste good to them. He's like, huh, you fucking idiots. Oh no. Did Bennett fall asleep sitting up? <laughs> he must be totally wiped out. I want sticky honey roast and fisherman's toast. He speaks so clearly. What if he just starts speaking German out of nowhere? And there's no German setting. He also said that if everyone in Mondstadt ordered like we do, her job would be so much easier. All she'd have to do is memorize everyone's favorites. <clears throat> Eating together. Aww. <clears throat> it's nice that you two are so close. Um. <clears throat> we are done here, yes? I am free to go, am I not? Okay. Then please excuse me. 
I have a frozen what? lake I need to be at. You're leaving the little campfire? But Benny fell asleep and like going for an ice bath at this time of night? W wait up. Don't go without me. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> what? You're gonna be naked in the middle of the night? Without me? Friend? Looks like we got some downtime now. Alright, you two. Time to paint. Oh, prepare to be amazed. <laughs> I don't think we even had time to practice. Time for me to show you what I can do. Since when? When did we have something to show? Let's do this have then. Decided what to paint? <laughs> like you even need to ask. It's obviously going to be Pokemon. What? Why am I going to be painting you? This is sure. stupid. But we should move elsewhere. We're likely to disturb Bennett's sleep if we stay here, so let's go outside. I do not trust you right now. I love this. Those to whom it is endowed do well to flaunt it. Girl. <laughs> it's just like, yes, girl. It's just very... <laughs> it's just very, like, <laughs> refined way of saying, yes, queen. Show it off. Go off. Pop off. In the olden days, they would go. Those to whom it is in doubt do well to flaunt it. I thought I was gonna paint. Hey, excuse me, move. Artist at work. Okay? Alright, let's start with the head. Now, in your mind's eye, what is written on Paimon's face? Paimon's all out of brain juice. Paimon's peeved. Dopey but adorable. I mean... Huh? Accurate. Is that how Paimon really looks to you? Yeah. I guess dopey is kind of... You know what? You're right, Paimon. Sorry. Let's move on to the body. Come on. Paint what you see when you look at Paimon. Um, top quality emergency food. A top tier flying pet. I mean, this is kind of out of nowhere and this is an ongoing joke, so... Paimon's starting to feel like this is not going to turn out so great. Let's see it. Oh, that's incredible. <laughs> last for words. The brushwork is smooth and the composition seems professional quality. I can't believe I can paint now. There's so much I can do. Look how proud I am. It makes sense. Traveler, have you previously received any education in the fine arts? Wait, is he... <laughs> What's happening? Do you actually... Are you actually impressed by this? Are you actually impressed by this? Uh, no, but art comes from the heart. Very, very little. N I'll do this. God, she is so loud. Okay, Paimon. Paimon, if this is not to your liking... I can make a few amendments. Oh, uh, he just draws horns and a mustache. Let's go. Yeah, let's do an Obedo traveler special. Bedonce special. Oh, all right, Paimon. What? <laughs> <laughs> you, f <laughs> you fool! You made it. You made it look so good. <laughs> this i feel so betrayed i thought we were friends little baby i thought you were in on the joke why did you do something so good it's 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 a total ground up order yeah what brush is this on procreate to say that you differ from the painting on a fundamental level rather that the real you and the you in the painting present two different styles of beauty interesting so is one of you a painting? A creation? You remain the core reference point for the painting. So, Paimon, you can put your misgivings aside and hang this painting wherever you like. Don't you want to hang the one I made? I rarely entertain so many guests at my camp. It's lively. A little noisy. Even. His eyes are so intense. But I don't dislike it. Liveliness is a rare thing here on Dragonspine. True. I flipped another insignia Ooh, just cut scene. Wrong again. So 
your bad luck is all you stuff. <clears throat> we'll be down the mountain in no time. Oh my gosh. My thoughts exactly. Today's the day. What's happening? Oh my god, I'm so scared. Oh. <gasps> What? It's oh no! Oi, girlfriend! No, Benny! You're fucking no! Oh shit! Wait! Oh no, they were separated. Head beneath the cliff to look for your companions. I mean, I'm pretty beneath right now. <laughs> Where are they? Oh my god! Okay, so I've searched this entire down area for now i'm gonna get some warmth oh wait what If you're dizzy, sit and rest for a Ah, uh, it's fine, really. This kind of thing happens all the time. I'll be fine. Thank you. Wait, where's Albedo? We thought he fell off the cliff with you! We found Bennett here, so Albedo can't- Got it! This is interesting. Where is Albedo? Okay. There's one site. I guess? Wait, where is it? Where is this leading me to? I'm so confused. Oh, here. Okay, 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 okay. Oh, shit. I need warmth. What? Stick with the others. Oh, is that them? Well, any side <sighs> not a tr nothing for me either. Strange. We didn't have any luck either. Everyone. What the fuck? Where did you come from? <laughs> Nothing serious. Okay, everyone accounted. Guys, I, I think it's got to be because of me. No, it's not. Being a treasure hoarder insignia isn't gonna change my luck after all. No wonder. No I'm so sorry. Don't say that. I'm hardly the lucky type myself, so I'm not about to go blaming every little thing that goes wrong on you. That's weird. Exactly. Besides, Dragonspine is a dangerous place. Avalanche has literally come with the territory. Bad luck has nothing to do with it. Traveler, what's wrong? Your face looks... Hmm. <gasps> oh no, did you get hit on the head? Shut up, Hyman. I don't trust what's going on here. Weird things have been happening this whole trip. Something feels wrong, but what is it? Well, I mean, it might be right in front of you, Beyonce. Hey. With some things, I don't know where to begin. Something's up, isn't it? Uh, are you hungry? Cold? Hug your head to warm you up. Hug your head to warm you up? I'm alright, Paimon, thank you. So I was just thinking, whenever I've met up with you at Dragonspine in the past, we always stick to the same few spots. It's much more vast and beautiful here than I realized. If it were a little warmer and a little safer, I bet this place would be bustling with visitors. Well... What? So for twee. There's a fatwee right there just eavesdropping on us. I was gonna say, like, isn't it that in the lore of Dragonspine, this place actually used to be successful and flourishing? It was a great, like, there's a great society that was living in here. It was, to my knowledge, the bridge between Celestia and the living. It used to be a really good place. It got wiped out. People are put off by the cold and have an aversion to danger. They don't realize that there is much to explore beneath <laughs> the icy exterior. If, if you're willing to spend the time and energy, she's talking about herself. She's not even talking about Dragon's Spine at this point. Something seems to have changed. I mean, 
It might be imprudent to speculate out loud. But I believe... I do, Eula, I do. We also have the lesbian telepathy. The tele... lesbian telepathy. Oh, watch out. Oh my god! What the fuck? Is that an Aquila Favonia? Oh shit! Oh, the five star... Oh, what? What the fuck, Albedo? Wow, this is his cryo, bro. That's interesting. Oh, wow, Benny. Let's go with your black sword. That's a three star. What? What? Interesting. Oh, baby? What was that symbol? Albedo, what? It's not over yet. Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh. What? That's very Senora like. What the, f the There will be Oh shit. Okay, wait. I I do not know. I don't think I have the right people for this. My albedo is so weak, dude. Don't waste my time. Don't waste my time, dude. Wait, what? Pick up? Do I pick him up? Okay. Who is this boss? Oh my god, so much resistance. Oh, do I hit this? Okay. Uh, destroy the fruits. Destroy the fruits. Well, where are the fruits? Where are the fruits? Oh, there's one. Wait, bah, 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 bah. Okay, where's... Uh, is there another fruit? Pick up the essence. Okay. Oh, wait. I picked up too much essence. I don't even want to use my ult yet. Wait, is there more fruits? Where are the rest of the fruits? Oh, there. Okay, 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 okay. Give up. Pick up the essence, okay. To back up. Oh my god. Oh no, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die, I'm gonna die. Think you can bully me? Wait, I don't even know what's going on. Hold on! Stop it! Stop it! Oh my gosh, I can't see. Oh my... Oh my... That's my niece. Also, is this like a boss or like... Who is she? Okay. What? Why are you providing music right now? She's just singing. Feel this ancient power. Okay. You, sure. I know. Mama's birthday's tomorrow. Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm coming. I'm coming. I I know a special night when I hear one. Oh, I'm coming. I'm coming. Anyway, <laughs> I'm fine, Albedo. Can you please explain why you stabbed yourself? What's going on? Exactly. A whopper flower that can yeah. What do you mean? Masters of mimicry. Oh, they were trying to mimic you guys. Vicinity of the plants they impersonate. In other words, the whopper flower likely has an yeah. instinct to replicate and replace. That's so as sick. Plant, it will disguise itself as another plant and infiltrate the group. 
These whopper flowers are so fucking annoying. Like, not just an abyss, but now they're doing this thing where they're like... So when it approached an attack mimicking other people that? that's next so level annoying perhaps doppelganger whopper uh, flower is that like dopper flower is that a thing me and my imposter apart. it was I in the eyes know. i had no idea the other guy was an imposter what exactly the same i see oh i didn't just notice that at all to impersonate a human this mutant whopper flower tried its best to replicate the original exactly yeah, that's kind of... miss some details. I never... Huh! Hold on! That looks very similar to Paimon's... This. Bad luck, and the good luck finally came through. About that. Also, we're freezing. We're, like, dying. We're falling down the mountain and avoided injury. Wow. That's because I was secretly protecting you. Aw, Albedo's your good luck. Uh... That still counts as good luck to me. <laughs> yes, that's not an unreasonable way of looking at it. Okay. Hmm. We've been delayed long enough. Sarcastic or just Albedo? Sorry for bringing you back here once again. Is this about the imposter? That's right. I have to say, traveler, I'm very surprised you noticed the difference between me and yes, this mark. Perhaps it's where it all began. Mm-hmm. Ooh, it sounds like the big... Well, I uh, can't deny that what I'm about to say does sound like something from a children's story. I love children's stories. So, Let's go. What do you think this What do you think? You means? tell me. What do you think it means? What do you think it means? This is connected to the unnamed god? Come on. Uh, what do you think it means, Paimon? Something else? No. Consider it a... Uh, huh. A birthmark. A birthmark, really? Really? Huh. Have you ever seen an intricate glass ornament and wondered how it was made? Well, one method for crafting with glass is a technique known oh as God, glass. suddenly Paimon. Glass blowing is not a widely known art in Tevat. For this reason, glassware made in this way is usually very expensive. As the name implies, Glass blowing involves blowing air into a hole. Uh huh. Like blowing up a balloon. This type of glassware is known for having a pontal mark <gasps> at the point where the blowpipe was inserted. Stop it. Where the hole was sealed at the very end. This mark is a sign that the item was cracked. Stop. Oh my God. So that's his asshole. Believe it or not, all human beings start out as a tiny anus the blast blastopore is actually just a minuscule anus the rest of your body develops from there which came first the butt or the mouth this is good september 8th 2021 oh the final form of the blastopore vary across all living creatures in starfish, it starts with the anus. In earthworms, it starts as a mouth. The three major theories they examined for the evolution of mouths and anuses in bilaterians, bilaterians <laughs> which includes humans, that's us, I think, were as follows. The blastopore, 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 I don't know how to say this, becomes the mouth. The anus develops secondarily. Or the blastopore becomes the anus and the mouth develops secondarily. Is we're either just a mouth or an anus and that's where we begin. So that's just interesting here that for him it's really refined and, and kind of sophisticated, kind of beautiful. That his mark or his pontal mark, his blastopore, if you will. Anyway, the implication here is that my guy was created. It is a wondrous and beautiful art form. Alice. Alice says that these marks are seen as proof of the maker's fine handiwork. Please, mom. The only flaw in an otherwise perfect work of art. Interesting. Who made My you? Is something similar to this. The difference between synthetic and natural life lies in the directional flow of the life force. The energy of a natural life form flows out from within. That's why flower buds bloom and curled leaves unfold. And it's the very reason we watch and wonder at blossoming flowers. Huh. Creating life artificially, on the other hand, involves, to a certain extent, the introduction of an external source of energy into the embryonic life form. When the whole life force was infused, asshole. The end. Making up stories is easy. Even Paimon can do that. 
It's not that easy, Paimon. Like, excuse me, an insult to all writers. Like, Paimon's so confident to have that confidence, right? To just be like, painting sounds super easy. Let's do it. Writing? Oh my God. Where's the challenge? <laughs> Lying, basically. Go. Oh, cutscene. Oh my God. Oh, my baby. Story. Master's failed specimen in the dragon's belly. Oh. This is where the story truly begins. If we switched places, if you were the survivor, what? And as the abandoned experiment, the failure of the primordial human project, I'd want to replace you too. I would replicate your appearance. Study your alchemy and create miraculous life forms to divert your attention. I would wait for the right moment, then dispose of you and the traveler, the sole person to have known your secret. Huh? And then I could finally experience the joy of being brought into the world. It's, it's difficult to tell at this point which of the stories I've heard of Genshin is approved lore and which are just theories. But, okay, so like I know that parts of Durin or something, Durin the dragon, it is in Albedo. And whoever this master is, he's dead, essentially. And we're just recapping now, just so that... I follow or like I understand just to see if I follow or not so yeah so the master who created him is dead and now he just walks around Mondstadt and then from time to time will return to Dragonspine because this is where he feels like he belongs like this is where he was created it starts with an alchemist and ends with a butt but had not wait, 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 hold your goddamn horses. This feels Fatui-ish. This feels Shnishnai-ish. You know what I mean? It feels Shnishnai-ish. And like, I'm not sure, because he mentioned Alice. Please, mom. But I don't know. Where is Alice? Is she in shnishnai -ish? Is she the one that's creating all of these delusions and like puppets? Because like... Scaramouche is a failed puppet, quote unquote failed, He's just roaming about being his own self. Been discarded, but did not died. And so is, um, Raiden, right? Or at least like the puppet that she's encased in. Huh. All that Subject 2 desired was to replace Subject what? 1 and take the joy of his existence for himself. Uh, this is giving Hyman, shut up! So subject 2 began to unfold his plan. He stole Subject 1's books and notes and studied all that Subject 1 had learned from the alchemist. Subject 2 was highly intelligent and he learned quickly. He changed his face into an exact replica of Subject 1's face. Then, he found a plant with mimicry capabilities and transformed it using dragon blood and alchemy. And what? This is just what happened earlier. So, not only did Subject 2 transform his own appearance to perfectly match that of Subject 1, what? he also created a third entity, Subject 3. What the fuck? He would secretly replace the subject one. What is it? Now, what are you? And inherit his identity, residence, Stop. Clothing, sword, name, and friends. People would have no idea that the individual they knew had become somebody else from one day to the next. Um. But just before subject two could carry out his plan, a unique stranger entered the. Um. Mind. Subject 2 tried to make contact with this person, but found that they could somehow sense he was different from Subject 1. 
Um. What's wrong? Are you scared? Shut up. Um. He became a new stage and subject to his plan. One more person that subject to had to dispose of. It's as if there were three identical roses in a garden. Only one of the three was a fine specimen. While the other two were defective specimens that bore poisonous thorns. Hmm. In all the world, only the gardener who tended to them could tell which was the good specimen. No, it really isn't, Beyonce. This is not just a story. These are real events. Albedo is trying to tell me the cruel and unbelievable truth. <laughs> that was intense! So what happened after that? Did some Fortunately, Meta is just a story. And this is not... Story, subject 2 did not succeed. But... You can never let your guard down on Dragon Spine. Mm -hmm. Monsters mutated with Durin's power and blood are also creatures of Rhine Daughter. Just like me. You must beware of all such creatures. How did you feel when you took out the imposter? Something special. But... Whenever I think about it... I feel a twinge of grief. Poor Albedo. Hello? Traveler? Uh, is that Amber? Hey! Is that Amber? Thought we might find you here. Oh, hello, girlfriends. What's we going on? to deliver a message from Cyrus. There's going to be a big event down at the base camp, and they want you there too, Traveler. Um, we're in the middle of something. It's end. Apparently, even provisional instructors are required to attend. Looks like we need to go, Albedo. Bye for now. But, but we were... Okay. Then I won't keep you. I have some things to attend to here. So forgive me for not seeing you down. Not nah, cool. Don't worry, we know the way. There have been no issues getting up and down the mountain recently. Is everyone ready? Let's not keep them waiting. Um, okay. I guess I'm leaving you? Go ahead. You're one of their instructors, no? I guess. Alright, he wants me to leave. I. Going up and down the mountain, they said. Fucking peasants, use a teleporter like a normal. Oh. Oh my god, is that Joel? Wait, what? Allow <gasps> me to introduce Yozer. No! <gasps> He's alive! Dad, this is that traveler I was telling you. Oh! Wait. Wait, is this really him? Now I trust no one and nothing. Joel told me everything about you. <laughs> I can't hmm. enough. Which one of these says that I'm still sus of him? I'm glad you're finally reunited. I'm glad you're okay. Now I'll go with this because it implies that I'm just happy for Joel. Wow. This is amazing. Mm-hmm. Wait a second. Why is Cyrus discreetly wiping tears away? And what is Pallid doing here? Hello, Pallid. Pallid is the hero of the hour this Ayad. time. Go on, Pallid. Tell us what happened in your own words. Okay. <clears throat> The weather was fine on that fateful day. So many monologues. I that Lady Luck was smiling down on me. So I trusted my gut and set off to explore somewhere new, somewhere dangerous. Because where there is great danger, there is also great treasure. Uh, okay. Why does this sound so hard to believe? Mm -hmm. I had only been away from the group for a short while when I fell down a slope and just started rolling. Uh-oh. My bad luck rub off on him when we ran into each other on the mountain. The place I you ran into each other. I didn't recognize, and I'd sustained a few injuries. I remember thinking to myself, uh, "Oh, Benny, it's fine." I met Yozer. He'd heard the sound of me falling and came out to see what was going on. Huh? Where was he? So it was completely by. I thought he must have been someone from the Adventurers Guild. I mean, just skipping Pyman. <laughs> a few words of conversation, it was clear that he was having memory problems. He didn't even know his own name. Interesting. The temperature was freezing, and there was no time to deal with all that there and then. So I convinced him to come back to the camp. We got back to the camp, ran into Joel, and the moment he saw him, he froze for a second with this completely stunned expression on his face. And then he started crying out, Dad! Dad! That's when Yozer suddenly started to remember. 
My memory has still not fully recovered, but Joel and his mother, they are the only ones that I will not know, that I cannot forget. Daddy. Oh. Daddy's right here, Joel. Daddy's right here. Is he, though? Does your dad have any birthmarks, Joel, that you might know of? I'm sorry. I I have no recollection. Huh. Maybe it's because of the head trauma. I, I'm not sure. I woke up and found myself covered in blood. My, my things were gone and, and there was nothing to indicate who I was or, or how I got there. That's interesting. I crawled into a cave and, and settled in for a slow recovery. <laughs> After my legs and feet were a little better, my hunting skills were what kept me alive. Dad. I was mm -hmm. so worried about you. He really was. I'm all right now, Joel. Oh, don't cry. Daddy's... Oh, this is good. This is good. I don't know about this. I don't know about all's well that ends well, dude. You know what, though? I definitely think my luck got worse after running into bed. Shut the mountain. fuck up, Pallid. Oh, I made this for you and Amber. Think of it as a winter souvenir. Huh. Oh, are you sure? What is it? This must be really important to you. Come on now, just take it. No need to make such a fuss. Wow. Now our snowman won't know either. Great. Ah, uh, I don't want to. I don't want to lead her on, so I'll just go for. Thank you, you Eula. Just keep it. That's all I ask. We'll do. Amber and I have some business to attend to now. <laughs> I'm sure you do. See you later. See you later. <laughs> all right. Bye, thighs. Temeos. Oh, yes, I'm here. Traveler in Paimon. What? Wait a minute. You've got that mischievous look. On <laughs> you what is this juicer for? I really have no stake in this well, either way. Really interesting. Then, uh, yeah, maybe I'll give this one a pass. Oh no, that's not what I meant. Ever. No, no, no. Still do it. Yeah. And the time it would take me to research something like that, I could probably new research project, Timaeus. Oh. We meet again. I believe he's here. Hi. Oh, Albedo! Thank goodness. Uh, so the situation is, Paimon wants a machine that can turn fruit into juice and keep the juice fresh. I mean, surely. Majorly important. That's what it is. If you can manage to invent this, we'll never have to worry about fruit going bad ever again. And also, like, wow, what a great fucking new invention. Like, it's going to be the talk of the town. I also do wonder, though, like, can't you just turn it into jam? Wouldn't preserves preserve it? <laughs> That's impossible. Not to. Oh. Oh. Oh, uh, uh, oh, oh, you can see in front of him. That's fun. Ah, uh, wait, his neck. Turning fruit into juice is not hard, but keeping it fresh is more difficult. But if you simply want to keep the fruit from rotting, there are many ways to achieve this. Right, Traveler? Ah. Uh, oh my God, do I, s I'm going to say it. I'm going to do it. Wait, it is? What about his neck? What's wrong? What? Is there something on my neck? The eyes. Um, I feel like I'm being gaslit right now. From the look on your face, it's as if you thought I just played a practical joke on you that wasn't exceedingly <laughs> We're all just unimpressed in Mondstadt today. Was it? Alito, you were saying, how do you stop fruit from going bad? Well, one way would be to bury your fruit on Dragonspine. Oh, true. The snow never melts all year round. But then Paimon won't be able to eat them! Are we really just moving on from that? That was just a joke? That's you could really mean. On Dragonspine. Um, I do no, no, too cold for Paimon. Yeah, I don't know about that. Oh, I would die. the fruit to me. And I would take it to Dragonspine for you. But since you don't like the cold... You'd have to send someone else to pick them up. I mean, <laughs> I'm sure Sucrose would. <laughs> this is where you come in, traveler. Um. That only sounds a lot more feasible with other people doing all the work. Hmm. 
Really? What is happening right now? The dragon spine will stay fresh for much longer. However, it is also possible that the fruit will sprout and grow into fruit trees. Who knows? Maybe the next time you visit, it will have grown into an orchard. You can water the trees, add fruit. What are you doing right now, Albedo? Are you trying to finally bear fruit? Draw me back into Dragon Spine with the idea of a garden? Oh, a gardener. A g a g <gasps> well, I don't think being a gardener is so bad. What? Wait, what? What? What the fuck is happening? Yeah, a gardener? Didn't expect Albedo to joke about this. Doesn't he care about what the mark means? I mean, dude, something's happening. Something strange is going on in the neighborhood. Bothers you, does it? What are you doing? Of course it bothers Paimon. They are the rarest, super duper sweetest Zenzedias ever. And they're not for you. Okay. But they're just Zenzedias. I think you're only so attached to them because you don't have much fruit of this quality in your possession. Uh -huh. When someone's pockets are full and their spirit is fulfilled, they don't easily fall prey to this kind of yearning. I see. That makes a lot of sense. Does it help me? Is he just like trying to Perhaps up the tourism for Dragon Spine? You're fuck. You're so fucking weird, dude. Wait, can I lift him? If I can, I lift him. No. What about you, Margaret? Would you like a lift? Okay, I guess no one's getting a lift. Um, okay. Let us begin. Oh my god, this one's gonna be so cute. Ah! Oh, that's adorable. A little scarf. Ayo. Some egg eyes. Oh my gosh. Adorable. What's this look like? Oh, adorable. Adorable. <gasps> that's cute. That's so much cuter. There you go. Yes, I have my snowman. Alrighty. And then wait, I want to take I want to take a picture. Dun, 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 dun. Perfect. Yeah, that was me going through the quest for Albedo. Honestly, I loved this one so much more than the last one. Not to shit on the Inazuma quest. That I love Inazuma and I like the history of it and I like all the characters that I've met from it so far. I mean, Ayaka, come on. Or Ayaka, there's Raiden, sort of. And then, I mean, Kazuha. We don't know exactly where he's from, but, you know, he grew up in Inazuma, and that's where his family's from. So, obviously, the Inazuma fam is number one to me. But, yeah, as far as, like, stories go, this one was pretty compelling. It was so much fun doing that quest. And I had such a great time. Hope you guys did, too. And that you're following. Um, let me know what you think about the lore and how you've enjoyed this quest and stuff. I'm going to go because, uh, oh, my God, OBB is so mad at me right now. The fuck? Why are you so cute, though? It's also, like, I don't know how regularly I'm going to be posting. Things have been kind of tough. Um but yeah i don't really intend on leaving youtube i want to continue doing this and i want to that's so pretty i want to continue <laughs> um making content whether that's genshin or shows or what have you oh also i'm not sure if you guys know there's like a side plug a plug on the side if you've ever seen one um my friend and i started a separate channel for just music video k-pop music video reactions and i promise you that it's a varied um group like all groups most groups that we enjoy we do create reaction videos to but for some reason it's very stray kids and 80s dominated i don't know like as far as i know we're multis so i don't know why we have <laughs> 
bias groups. <laughs> but yeah, uh, so if that's something that's of interest to you as well, go ahead, check the channel. It'll be um, somewhere there in the description. Anyway, I'm going to head out. Thank you once again for watching. Uh, and ooh, um, haven't done this in a while. Should we do some wise words? I've got one. Wise words. No one's perfect. And if you keep trying to aim for perfection as a human being when it is not in our nature to be perfect, then you will just end up disappointed. Or like a clone. Which could be fun. I mean, who knows? Really depends on what you're into. What is he right in there? Oh my god, I didn't know that you could... Oh, there are flowers. Oh, Cecilia's. Which you need for your ascension. That's interesting. All right, see ya. Bye.